Hi, I'm Dick DeBlake, and I'm the instructor for Project Planning and Leading. Project Planning and Leading is a course in the Project Management Certificate Series, and the whole purpose of the course is to help participants get some basics on how do you plan and schedule a project as well as lead a project. There's really two primary domains for this course. One is to give people some of the technical tools, some of the planning and scheduling tools like Gantt charts, network diagrams, bar charts, etc. What network diagrams do is very explicitly rec recognize those sequential dependencies. And I'll just draw a real simple network diagram for you. It looks like this. Here's a very simple project. Consists of three activities. I'll just call them A, B, and C. And just by virtue of the way I've drawn this diagram, I've depicted that um, we must first complete task A before we can undertake either B or C. Okay. For example, in the build a house project, we've got to pour the foundation before we can put the roof on or do the electrical and mechanical things. You can't do them in reverse order. Just like when you're making dinner. You know, you can't cook the noodle, noodles first and then boil the water. I mean, there is a logical sequence there. Um, and that's what the network diagram depicts, is that logical uh, sequence of events. But a whole second domain that we go into the course is information on leadership, communication, teamwork, motivation, those things that besides having a plan make all the difference in whether your project is ultimately successful or not. The ability to manage my time and resources effectively has been increased immediately after walking out of these classes. Um, also due to the um, diverse peer group that's been in these classes, it's also increased my ability to work with the diverse peer group that I um, associate with at work as well. But it's also geared to a lot of interaction and that's why you're seated in small groups at your tables because the way it's typically going to work is I'll talk about an idea, a concept, a tool, and then I'll say, here, try that out on this uh, particular activity. And then you'll work with your teammates at your table. So the group that you're seated with will be your teammates for the day today. What I'm going to ask you to do, and I'll try to remember to prompt you both at the end of the day today and in the morning tomorrow, if you would, just regroup yourself so you'll sit with a new a uh, group of people tomorrow. And the main reason for that is one of the ways you'll learn is not just from me and from the course, but also from the people that you meet here. You'll find out, you know, how they do things over at Brandon's place or at Jennifer's and, you know, you might get a few ideas from uh, your classmates as well. So look to them for ideas and uh, for discussion and challenge. Key things that we want participants to walk away with and that participants tell us they value when they come away from the course are some very practical tools like the bar chart, Gantt chart, etc. that will allow them to come up with a project plan and a project schedule. And those things tend to be pretty immediately uh, applicable to projects. People can use those tools as soon as they get back to work and apply them to projects that they're working on. And the other subjects that we get into like motivation, communication, teamwork, and leadership come into play pretty quickly as well back in the workplace because most people have discovered that projects don't succeed just because you have a good plan. You need to recruit people for the team, you need to motivate them to be contributing team members, you need to build a sense of team, um, you need to exercise or demonstrate a bit of leadership along the way, communicate, and so on. So a lot of the tools and principles that we talk about in the class, people can go back and make pretty quick and direct application on the projects that they're working on. Well, I'm taking courses here at the U of M um, because in today's economy, almost every job incorporates project management in some way. I was really looking for an opportunity to um, take some professional development courses and uh, increase my project management skills and had heard that the College of Continuing Education at the University of Minnesota offered a great project management program.